guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday, and we have Blissey in front of us today. Now, I remember seeing this deck on Hey Fonte back in December, and I was like, okay, we're gonna cover this deck one day. And so today is gonna be the day. Now, this is powered by AJ. Um, so let's read his little story real quick. Um, so he says, extra, extra, read all about it. Blizzy tops League Cup. So after making my first top cut this, uh, the week before with a terrible raid deck, I felt the need to play something even worse. Darmanitan was going to be my jam, but I just never could get enough, uh, could get it to be fun enough. So I built a cool spread deck that was awesome until I faced some dude on the PGCG ladder who wrecked my world. Uh, he said, so I copied his deck, and if I haven't, and, and if he hadn't ignored my friend request, I'd be giving him a shout out as well. Made a few changes, did some internet decking, and realized this thing won a tournament in Japan at one point. Only change from the Japan deck was one minus one Sightseer plus one Guzma. Guzma is a really clutch to close out the game, but this deck really needs the thick draw support, and Sightseer is really needed and is really. Is Sightseer really is necessary just to get enough cards when you're not breaking? Um, only cards that maybe change are getting rid of a Choice Fan and Shrine, throwing in the Body Boat of Dunwells and a Guzma. So let's make those changes. We haven't played his list, but he has. So we're going to cut, let's see. So let's see. He says, I'd cut a Choice Fan <laughs> and a Shrine. Whoa, 1 1 now. Uh, for a, another Body Building Dumbbells and another Guzma. Alrighty. So let's. Let's read his little turn report. So Granbull, Granbull win. Won the coin flip and just traded knockouts back and forth. The guy borrowed my Granbull deck anyway, so I'm sure he was just fail, falling on the sword. Lost March. He lost, uh, forced to start with my Coco, early let loose, and he got Machoke down in a nine and lost the loan by turn three. Once behind two prize cards, there wasn't much I could do um, because he, as long as he kept getting energy attack. So he would... Essentially, just he is probably got like set up too quickly, and he will just lose to trade because the non GX was a non GX deck, right? Uh, then in round three, he played against Bosephion. This one was tough. In the end, Chansey was the MVP for an early healing, uh, healing Peretzi to move 20 damage from a bursting balloon and force a three energy discard to knock out a Coco that probably decided the game since he ran out of energy. Got two clutch Guzma, one prize, but got shelf loaded from Let Loose. Top decks in time to knock out a Tapu Lele for game. Uh, round four, he played against Lost March win. Uh, he prized he prized two Malamar, but got Chansey down early. Just traded prizes with sympathy sympathetic slap until I can get a late game Blissey with dumbbells down to secure a win condition. Round five, he would ID and top four, he would lose to Gramble. Uh, thanks to everyone for, for play testing and support. Oh, and yeah, deck is super consistent. Powerful slap hits for 80, 100% of the times you flip heads. Cannot cut Victini Oranguru TV reportage. Strategy is essentially Tina squat squids with the tank. Uh, always finish out your bad flips. You must get the tails out before you victory star. Must. All right, so let's look at the deck, right? So it's got a random guillotine in here. It's got a 3-3. So let's look at the deck. So you have this Blissey. It has Happiness Supplement. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may be able to remove a damage counter from your active Pokemon. So it doesn't matter. Power slap, flip the coin for each energy attached to Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each heads. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> basically, if you have three energies on it, you can do power for slap. Uh, it plays four Chansey. Uh, healing Pirouette, heal 20 damage for each of your Pokemon. Sympathetic slap, 100. Your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it before this damage does damage, this attack does nothing. Okay, so let's see if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it before this attack does damage, this attack does nothing. Okay, um, so he's got a Giratina in here. I, don't, I still don't know why he's got the one Giratina. Uh, look, it's essentially Tina Squids with a tank. Uh, so I guess like if he wants to, ta yeah, I guess he's like, all right, if the Giratina keeps knocking out, you can just use Blissey. Blissey with body building dumbbells has what, 200 HP? So it's, yeah, it's essentially a tank, right? Uh, let's read the comments, see what people have said. Um, for all this little brain chip down, okay. Uh, so he posted a real picture of the deck, uh, because it's pretty crazy looking what he posted. Uh, let's close out of this real quick. Uh-oh, I lost it. Where the comments go? Alright, so let's read some more of these comments. The best eggs, good job. 
Uh, okay, okay. This is very similar to our friend area mobiles list. My testing. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Just reading more and more. I'm trying to see if we can. Yeah, so I guess it's just literally just, you know, we're going to power some eggs and we're going to go for it. So let's go over the deck. Let's see what it's about. We're, we're done rambling. Sorry, guys. You've been listed it for five minutes. Uh, so like I said, we're going to power up these Chansey with power for slot, but let's just play it. Whatever. We should know what these cards do. Who cares? Uh, we're not going to go into the deck. Let's just play Blissey. Let's just, just name it Blissey. <clears throat> let's just go for it. Let's just go for Blissey. Let's just play it. Let's just play it. We'll learn what the deck does together. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. It can't be too complicated, I feel like. Um, all right. Let's see. There's Blissey. We'll click play. Let's just play some games. Have some fun. It's just Malamar putting energies on Blissey, and that's pretty much the deck, right? It's pretty simple things. We're going to flip some coins. Need Victini. We won the coin flip. Great. Yes. We'll go first. All right. Um, like I said, shout out to AJ for posting his list. All right. So we get the Coco, which I think we want to start Coco, which is like really good. Okay. Unfortunately, we start Guzma. Um, the Stretcher. Um, all right, I'm just going to keep like looking at his list to my side uh, for those who don't know. All right. So he's got two Stretcher in the list. So that's fine. <coughs> hmm. Okay. So we have like, a lot of things we could do here. Uh, we'll put on the Oranguru. Oh, for sure. Yep. Press done. Okay. Let's see. Do we top like a psychic energy? Oh, we. <laughs> All right. Let's grab Chansey. Okay. Let's Ultra Ball away a psychic and Guzma. Let's grab an NK. Okay. Okay. So grab NK. We'll put down NK and then we'll Lily for seven. Alright, so oh my goodness, we have we have stuff next turn. We got a Chansey, we got a I don't want to put a DC it down because I don't know if you'll discard next turn. Uh so we'll just press down right now. Okay. So next time we can put a DC and uh, as long as we get one Malamar, we can start swinging next turn, right? The only problem is like our hand is kind of iffy. All right, so he discards a Wobbuffet and a Lugia. Another NK. So, all right, all right. So we see some kind of maybe almost the same deck here. Oh, Let Loose. Hmm. So both go to four. Okay. Does he find a DCE? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Body Bell, Blissey, Cynthia. Okay. Good. We have TV reporters as well. Draw three, discard a card from your hand. I'm a guaranteed six with Cynthia. All right, so see Lily. Okay. Let's see what's he got here. I don't know what he's really playing, I guess. There's a shrine coming down. We don't have that. That's fine with me. It just makes our shrine useless. Okay, treasure away and whatever. There's another end case. He's got two end case down. Okay. We just need two heads with Chansey, and we got to knock out this turn, right? So, Psyche Energy, okay. Does it retreat to Marshadow, I wonder? No. All right. So, we get down Blessy. I'm not going to put on the other Chansey. I kind of want another NK. No, we need a Victini, actually. Uh, so, it's Cynthia for new hand of six. All right. All right, so we got the DCE. We did not find... Victini, but hopefully flip two heads here. Come on. One. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> Alright, we'll go down to five. There's a Cynthia, okay. Feels pretty good when you do that. <laughs> when you do that, when you pull that off. Alright, here comes Marshadow. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was great. That was a great. <laughs> and also, if we can touch a Psych Energy, we can do four flips this turn. Woo! Hmm. So Psyche Energy active. He's got the one of tree costs. There was he Ultra Ball. Okay, discarding a Guzma and Pal Pad. Alright. Man, Blissey coming in clutch. Power for slapping. Just going in there. Nurse Joy would be proud. There's an Onyx. Oh no. That is terrible. <laughs> it needs four energies though. Like yeah. And even then, like, oh, that's a knockout, though. Yeah. All right. But 120. We could put, like, Psychic Energy on this Chansey and start powering that guy up. 
Once again, I'm trying to like consider, do we need another MK spot? Here's the Ultra Ball, discard your stuff. He has a 120 HP, so our, <clears throat> our Giratinus could technically knock out his Onyx. So they receive Malamar. There's no way he's powered up on Onyx's turn. Alright. <laughs> Struck from one. Just not looking good for opponent right now. That's all I gotta say. Psychic recharge to the Onyx. That's what I think is what we're gonna see here. Ooh, to the Orangaroo. Does he have DCE? Hmm. We have 200 HP, so like Psychic is definitely not knocking us out. Alright, so there's a Nest Ball. So we're gonna Nest Ball for another NK. <gasps> no, we gotta grab Victini, Josh. Come on now. When you grab Victini. There we go. Which we'll I just psychic energy to the Chansey, and then we'll Synthy for new hand of six. Maybe we could have TV support away psychic energy if we wanted to that turn. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'll just fall on this card, Giratina and the TV reporter. Hmm. Giratina is really bad right now because. Yeah, that's a terrible card right now. We have a two full of a bench space. I only have one Malamar. Alright, so we'll psychic recharge to the Chansey. We're starting to power up that guy up, okay? And then we'll power for slot. We need one heads here. There we go. <laughs> would you uh no oh no 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 I would not like to flip again. Gotta make sure I click the wrong right thing. Why do they have yes over here? Why they should have left on the yes side but they don't. Psychic does six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all only hundred and twenty, so psychic's doing nothing. Okay. Hmm, it is not looking good for our opponent. Chansey Blissey is going to town right now. It's just just slapping everybody. Hmm, maybe the Cucko is actually a bad Pokemon because like I would want to have another Malamar here. And that would be Giratina whenever. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the Oranguru doesn't need to be here. He says Oranguru is definitely needed. So that's why I didn't cut it. Like, I would rather have a Malamar here than this Oranguru as of right now. Like the free sheet from Coco seems so good, right? I think so. But we'll see. It's still very early in the game. Uh, of course, we're playing as a non-GX deck, so we just got to flip a low, 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 low uh, flips. But, like, just imagine against Zark. Like, there's no way they're going to one-shot you. They have to do 200 damage? Yeah, there's no way. Um, the only thing they can really do 200 dam damage with is a Lycanroc. Um, then you probably just lose. Unfortunately, right? But we'll see what Thiago Ricardo has here for us. Is this Thiago? Is this Thiago a thumbnail creator? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> we'll see if this card's a Lily. Okay. And did he time out? It looks like that's what happened, unfortunately. Did my opponent just time out? I don't know. I'm just going to load this. Uh, let's, put, let's put on the active. Who cares? Put another Blissey down. I forgot about that. So we got two Blissies just sitting here, plow for slapping, you know, just doing their stuff. Uh, okay, uh, nope, I would not like to flip again. I would like to do 106 damage and knock out the Orangaroo, please. I don't know how my opponent deals with us now. Like, we have so much. Hmm, it is just not looking good, and I think they have it timed out. Or maybe they realize they really can't do anything. That's what I'm starting to think. Um, but still, the turn two Blissey slapping, that was, oh, man, that was a good turn two. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, uh, but yeah, maybe the second Coco should be just like, or the Coco should be just like a Malamar spot right now. Alright, there we go. I want it timed out, looks like, unfortunately. Man, that was looking like a good game there. Oh, well, it is what it is, guys. So, on to game number two, we're looking at Piplup Shuffle, but they're not playing Piplup. Really confusing name there. Piplup, I'm so mad at you, buddy. Let's see, can we get some Blissey slapping in? Alright, so we won the coin flip again. Yes, I would love to go first. I hate that the yes is on the right side. It makes no sense at all. Oh, man, we start with our boy Giratina. So, we got the Giratina. Okay. Our hand looks terrible right now. Okay. It's the last march. Oh man. Okay. So we got this. 
There's so much we need to grab with this hand. All right, when you grab a Ringaroo, we need to Ultra Ball away one and two for Chansey. Okay. We'll put down Chansey, put a Body Build of Dumbbells, put a DC attachment, and then it will Struck for two. So we can Nest Ball for an NK and just press done. Okay, let's see here. So if we Ultra Ball with the Psychic and whatever, and we somehow find a Guzma, we could knock out a hop at this turn. So there's a Tapu. <gasps> he puts out a Tapu Lele. <laughs> I don't know how relevant type of Lily is going to be. Um, I guess if we power from slap, we got to make sure we flip like three heads with it. Oh, I wish we had an access to a judge right now and just punish our opponent. I was like, is he really about to do that? Okay, well, that's a good two cards to discard. All right. And struck for three. Come on, baby. Find me a Guzma. Just kidding. Okay. Um, well. We're in trouble now. We are in trouble. Let's grab another NK. Let's Lily. Hmm. Put down Shrine. Psychic Recharge to the Chansey. Huh. Press done. Alrighty. The good thing about this is he did put down a Malam, uh, did put down the, the Tapu Lele, right? So that's good. Uh, so he's got two, four, six, eight. He's got 80 he's doing right now. We know he has a Marshadow hand. All right. So there's a jump up, okay. Another floor path to the sky, okay. He's got two, he's got four in there, so he's doing 80. He's still not knocking out Giratina. So it's a Guzma. Bringing up our Chansey. How dare you. All right, does he find another Skiplin with this? <laughs> oh, he did it! No! <clears throat> All right. Hmm. All right, Natu coming up. Grass energy there. Lost March for knockout. I see you, buddy. All right, we'll set up NK. Shrine's still kicking away, so that's good. We'll put down this guy. Ultra Ball. One and two. Um, I want to grab another Malamar this turn. We'll put a Malamar here. When struck for two, hoping to hit Guzman energy is very unlikely. Okay. So let's just same thing for new hand of six. All right. So we can put down another Chansey. We can Psychic Recharge. To a Giratina. Attached to a Giratina. Psychic Recharge. To a Chansey. Put a Dumbbells here. And press Done. Alright, so Shrine Damage kicks, kicks, keeps ticking away. Okay. He wouldn't knock out the Malamar this turn, but I really couldn't like give up anything else. Unfortunately, so like if he takes a knockout, that's fine. At any moment, we could knock out this Tapu Lele, and I doubt he plays anything to get rid of the Shrine of Punishment. So it's staying there this whole game. That's the key thing to note. Um, he's got seven in there. Oh, there's a Sights here. It's not a Guzma, so that's good. All right, so Lost March for knockout. So you might be wondering why not promote the Chansey? Well, we can just retreat it. Uh, oh, actually. <sighs> 
I want to top deck a DC and, and, and put a, a uh, Blissey down. Uh, we'll see. What we get here? There's a Psychic. So a Choice Band, this guy. Let's Cynthia. See what happens. Hmm. So we can put a DC here. And sympathetic slot for knockout. All right, we'll go down to five. Get a Guzma. All right, the Guzma can allow us to knock out the Tapu Lele this turn. Um, or do we keep the Tapu Lele forever? No, uh, we'll eventually just lose if we do that. Oh, he's gonna put the. Okay, no, we need to knock him out this turn before he evolves into a Ninjask. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta knock out the Tapu Lele this turn. If not, he's gonna protect it. So instead of the Oranguru, yeah, we have to knock out the Taipu Lele. If not, uh, we're in trouble. Okay, so... We'll Psychic Recharge to the Giratina. Put down Victini. Attach this here. Guzma up his Lele. Send our Giratina. Um, yeah, we'll just take a knockout, put four damage on ourself. So we go down to three as well. And the only problem, and this is a big deal, is he's got that, uh, the nin, the uh, whatever he's about to put down and protect his jump off from being knocked out. This guy. This is the problem here. He's gonna protect his jump loss from being knocked out. And we don't play enough Guzmans to get around that, unfortunately. So he's got 367. He's doing 140 with loss march now. I think we set up Chansey and just see what happens. So put a DC here. We'll put down Chansey. Um Less Distortion Door. Put two here. And two here. Oh, he only puts one, Josh. Oh my goodness. Whoops. All right, either way, we're slightly recharging to this guy because I'm planning to counter energy with the Giratina next turn. Um, we'll Cynthia hoping hit a Blissey. Well. Oh, we got it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, kind of the Blissey. <laughs> I was like, we don't have it. <laughs> I'm like, just kidding, we do. Alright, we'll put down the Blissey. Okay. Powerful slap, but you need one heads here. No! <laughs> I forget, we have to, we have the amount. Okay, okay, good. There we go. Alright, so taking a knockout. We don't take a prize card, unfortunately. Can do 160, 36, that's 140 right now. He just needs like one Trump beak or whatever. Okay. Great. Okay. Another Tapu Lele hit the field. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way he's putting the Tapu Lele. Oh, look at that Tapu Lele alternate artwork. That's so cool. Okay, how many energies down? Uh, not enough. Oh, well, he's gonna put a Shenandra on the active. Oh, goodness. We can goose him around it. The problem is... That's game. Like, I don't know what we can really do here. Hmm. Unless we top deck Stretcher and we goose with the Marsh out to keep it stuck in the act spot. Nope. Well, we'll power for slop as much as we can. How about that, guys? We'll just try to get a huge power for slop off this turn. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Maybe we got three, six, seven, eight, nine. If we had the bodybuilding dumbbells, maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, nope. Definitely gonna take the knockout at 240. Going out of two. Unfortunately, we whipped the knockout that one turn, and then the Sheninja saved him. Kind of do, kind of drew dead just a little bit there. So lost much for the knockout. All right, can we play against a non? Uh, I mean, can we play against a GX EX deck? Can we see how this deck really kind of stacks up against that? That's what I really want to see. I want to see us play against a GX EX deck. Okay, we know how the non GX decks kind of work. It's like kind of like who goes to get the first, who can stream knockouts the most, right? Try it again. Let's try game number three. Looking for an opponent. Oh. But still, it's fun, right? It's fun. You just gotta find your blissies. If only Eva said it was legal, that'd be pretty cool. Alrighty. So, okay, here we go. We got what we asked for. We wanna play against GX and EX, and I think we're playing against a GX EX deck. All right, and we lost coin flip. Like everything we wanted to do, like to test out, right? We're going second. We're playing against GXEX deck. We start Giratina again. We only have one Giratina, and we started with it two out of three games. My goodness. Okay. Hmm. All right. Looks like we're playing against Gardevoir. Gardevoir has a lot of HP. Um, and also, can, they can, this is one of the decks that can one-shot us. Because hmm. we have 90 base, just of ourself. Mm. <coughs> hmm. Alright, another route to the field. Mudkip, Vulpix. We'll see. Alright. So Ultra Ball, I'm gonna discard the TV port at Sightseer to find a Chansey. Cause we can attach a Psychic Energy to it, maybe attack next turn. Put that Chansey, I just hate that we started this guy. <clears throat> All right, so we can put down this. Ultra Ball away, one and two. <gasps> no, no, I'm in Sightseer! <laughs> Oh, whoops. Well, let's see here. Hey, there we go. Got an energy attachment. Once again, our bench space is so clogged up. Um, I just hate that we have this Garatina just chilling here because he's on like a manly evolve, like. Yeah, that's, I expect him to do some manly evolve and get his stuff out. Oh, psychic like energy tact active. There's a Guzma. <coughs> Bring it up the Oranguru. Okay. Which I'm glad he used one. I mean, he could have just retreated, I think, right? Yeah, he could have just retreated. Whatever, don't care. All right, put a DC here. Well, Lily for five. I could have struck it first, Josh. Uh... This guy, once again, I want to put him down, but then we have no bench spots. Like, what do we do? 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 Oh my goodness, Garatina starts hurt me so bad. <laughs> put this down. Press done. Okay. Okie dokie. Hmm. So, what can we do next turn? Well, we can do a lot of things. But what's the correct thing to do? I don't know. I know he has Guardian Hand. I know he has Swampert. And there's a Ditto. Okay. And think about, like, these Guardian decks. They play Max Potion, right? Which is scary. What if we flip three heads on our guy to knock him out? pretty sick I think it's like the only way to really one shot him right ooh he's getting the he's getting the big boy out there Cosmog okay he's gonna try to go for Sigalio 
to get that full damage. So beacon again. Okay. Hmm. If we top deck Guzma, that doesn't get us anything. But we could knock out his one Cosmog or his Mudkip. Huh. Okay, there's nine tails and Guardy. Well, we can put down Malimar. We can sightseer the psychic energy. Oh boy. Get this. Okay. We got this onto the Giratina. We can put a decent in the active. Retreat. And we need one heads here with powerful slap. All right. Would you like to flip again? No, thank you. All righty. So taking the knockout, going out to five. And if he takes a knockout this turn with like his guardy, which I mean, he needs to do 200 damage. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. He needs, I don't, there's secret screen DCE doesn't take a knockout. Just to let you know. He needs double Seeker Spring DCE to knock us out. Or he to knock out our Blissey. Just to let you know. Alright, double Rick Andy. Okay. So we might be in a good spot here. Um, if he doesn't get double... <laughs> if he goes double Fairy DCE, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm, I'm going to cry here. Okay. But even then, like, Giratina can just Shadow Impact. And... We can nest ball for a chancy. Okay. Does he play field blower? Am I missing something? Hmm. Now we have like an interesting thing we could do here. We could attach a DCC active and hope to put three heads. It is risky, but it could pay off in the end. Hmm, discard the Brooklyn Hill. We know he plays two of those. Most of these lists are like pretty similar 60 cards we always see. So choice been to the active. I don't care about that. Oh my goodness. Super boost. Dude, there's no he drew that off the top deck, dude. There's no way he didn't draw that off top deck. Opponent just, just went in, dude. Just got it. He said, you know what? I'm winning this game. <laughs> well then, opponent. Proud of you, buddy. So proud of you. Oh, okay. 130. 40 to ourself. Let's see what happens. Man, I wish this worked. Oh, man. Like, I wish it was just like, oh, you just do 100 damage. That'd be broken, I guess, right? Because next time we can just DCE. <laughs> uh, I hope we turn like an Ultra Ball. Hey, speaking of Ultra Balls. Okay. Yes. Chelsea's leaving work in 45 minutes. It's plenty of time. Plenty of time, Josh. Alrighty. So, let's see. What? Just, man, dude. Man. Hmm. What's he got for us, guys? He is he is thinking right now. What can our opponent do here? I mean, he's taking the knockout regardless, right? What he needs is um. He needs max potion, but if we discard the max potion, he has he gets rid of a super boost. It's a weird situation to be in for my opponent. I mean, our steps look pretty um, easy right now. Like, we attach DC and Psychic like Recharge. We could put a DC on top of Coco and, like, fly and flip, but that gets us nowhere. Um, so, Seeker Spring to this Guardian, most likely. To the active. Okay. Do we take a knockout with this guy? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
Yeah, so what we can do this turn is we put a decent in this guy, psychic recharge here, and take a knockout on his guardy. Huh. Interesting. I think that's the correct play there. Alright. I don't care about that. Unless he retreats his turn. Which he could. He gets to retreat to this guy and then like just punch his face for 120 and take a knockout. Hmm. There he goes. All right, so he's retreating. Okay, makes more sense. I was like, what is he doing? All right, so even if we're for knockout, I do 120. Okay. Goes down to four. We'll set up Coco. Remember, he plays two max potions as well. All right, so we can nest ball, fail it, put a DC here, and struck for one. All right, so let's go Garatina, Distortion Door. Um, we'll put one of the Swamper and then one on the Cosmog. S yeah. Uh, Psychic Recharge to the Garatina. And then we'll just press Done. I mean, he's really not, he can't do too much. Um, once again, unless he has... Double Psychic, uh, double Fairy Energy, DCE, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Or like three energy attachments this turn to knock out a top of Coco. Even with like the chance he is hard for him to one-shot it right now. Um, So he's still like not taking a knockout this turn unless he Guzmans with the Victini. Or like, <laughs> there's so many different things he can knock out. Like if he knocks out the Malamar, we're in a little bit of trouble. I ain't gonna lie to you. Alright, so see, Power Draw, discard the Cynthia. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. What does our opponent have? He has like a billion cards in hand. He's down two fairy. At any moment, he could also twilight back some stuff. <sighs> okay, so does this get him a Guzma? Yep. Alright, so what's he going after? Is he going after Bikini? Is he going after Malamar? Chansey, Giratina. There's a lot of things he can go after right now. So he's going to put a DC on the Gar in the Lele. So he's going to seek a spring to the Lele. Okay. He's going to knock out the Chansey? Now, this seems risky as well. Like, yeah, you're knocking out Chansey, which is great, right? You're an ended drive for the knockout. But... We get Distortion Door for, if we find the one choice spam, we could do 160. The one choice spam. <laughs> Alright, so we'll Nest Ball for another Chansey, okay. Hmm, uh, Fairy, Psychic Recharge, and Struck for one, and Cynthia. I guess I should have checked to see if, if our uh, choice spam was even in the deck, I guess, right? So Struck for one. Body build one is a Chansey. Cynthia for new hand of six. Unfortunate. Retreat. Shadow impact. Four to ourself. Hmm. Hmm. If we top make a Blissey, and then we knock out this guy. He might be at like almost out of energies. Well, he's still got DCs left. One, two, three. He's got five fairies. Billy has to take home. Oh. Hmm. Alright, so see a power draw. Also, we could go Giratina this turn. And, like, try to knock out the... I mean, we have to take a knockout this turn. Like, if we don't take a knockout this turn, we're in trouble. Like, 100%. Okay, so our plan is maybe, like, counter energy, psychic recharge, knock out the Gardevoir. 
Okay. Then he knocks us out. Then Blessy has to get super lucky. And then Tapu Lele knocks us out. Oh, okay. So Max, okay, the active. I'm fine with this. Okay. Well, that's a knockout. All right, so let's go for that one play I was talking about. Let's send Coco. All right, so on our turn. Wait, hold on. So six. Okay, so we can. Counter energy. Psychic recharge here. Guzma up this guy to send in this guy. We'll distortion door, put one here, and I guess this really doesn't matter. Well, psychic for knockout. Okay. So I need to find a Guzma and a Counter Energy. Okay, well, that's not what we needed. <laughs> All right, so let's see who sends up. If he sends up the Tapu Lele, we still have a chance. No, we don't. We have no chance, actually, Josh. Because he's going to knock out your Ranguru. You can maybe take a knockout. And then that's it. That's game. Buddy. <sighs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. So he's, he's not taking a knockout just yet. He needs one more energy to take a knockout with, the, um, with this guy. Okay, so power draw. Hmm. He's down two Guzmas. Does he play a third one? Probably. Did he find an energy? He has not played a lot of DCs. He's only played two so far. So Seeker Spring to the active most likely. And then, oh, to the Guardi, actually, okay. So there, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, guys, how do we deal with this last prize card? Hmm. Well, we can discard one and two to grab a Blissey, okay. We'll put down a Blissey. With Choice Spin, this guy. Body Building Bells, this guy. Put down this guy. Sandy for New Hand of Six. Alright, so we got this. We got the Dece. We got the Psychic Recharge. We need two heads. All right, would you like to flip again? No, we'll take our knockout. All righty. Does he have multiple energies to take a knock on our Blissey? There's a shrine, there's a stretcher. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, he must have Goose my hand. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 20. Oh, he can just retreat knockout. I think that gives him regardless. So he must have goose my hand to top to the DCE is what I see there. No, oh, they're so close. <coughs> oh, well. Well, we tried. So you can see how fun the deck is. It's definitely, like, interesting. Um, I wish we had more bench spots, which is definitely the biggest thing of, of all. But I think it's a very interesting deck. I think it is fun to play, um, especially when you just, like, one-shot, like, your opponent's Pokemon and stuff like that. So definitely, take around Blissey. Have some fun. Is it a cup deck? <sighs> That's a big iffy. I don't know. Uh, this one was a rather hard matchup. They have 240 HP, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's hard to take a knockout, stuff like that. But still, it's very interesting. Do we play the Giratina? I think you still need to play the Giratina after playing with it. It's just a really good 1 HP Pokemon. Maybe put more counter energies. Uh, is a Coco needed? Probably you need a free retreater. Is the Vitini needed? That's the real question. Can you get away with just playing, like, just, like, super gamble? Maybe. I think that's where how you want to kind of play this deck is you just don't play the Victini. And you kind of just go for it. I think. Maybe. Who knows. 
Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for the addition. Uh, thank you for playing along with Rogue Tuesday. Uh, shout out to AJ one more time uh, for making top eight, top four, top eight with this deck. I can't even remember anymore. It's been so long. Top four. There we go. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. See you tomorrow for Wednesday. Alrighty. Bye.